Welcome to my presentation. I decided to do things a little bit differently as I've just started to work towards my grade four guitar and I'm learning a piece called Spice Trail composed by Gary Ryan in 2015. And I wanted to search this piece further as I really enjoy playing it. I decided to email Mr. Ryan to help me with this project after Mrs. Newton gave me the idea. The Spice Trail is shown here in the map. Here is a little bit more information about the Spice Trail by Gary Ryan. The Spice Trail was a trading route between Europe, North Africa and Asia. Gary Ryan wrote this piece in 2015 as part of the Grade 4 Classical Guitar Book. I contacted Gary Ryan who told me that he tried to give the music a sort of Arabic slash Spanish flavour to make it sound like a bit of a mixture between these places. This is me playing the first part of Spice Trail after practicing the piece for five days. I've analysed the piece and here are some key features. The piece is split into three sections. Section A, the first eight bars, is shown by the black arrows. Section B, the next four bars, is shown by the blue arrows. of the Spice Trail piece. The piece starts in second position and an ascending modal pattern is used which is similar to the B harmonic minor scale starting on F sharp. The piece mainly focuses on the same scale and arpeggio. This is what gives the piece the Arabic and Spanish feel. The dynamics are not very varied and are mainly faulty to reflect the lively tempo and the bold style of the piece. Quavers and dotted quavers are used to keep the piece upbeat. There is only one guitar playing which makes the texture thin. However, the chords thicken the texture when they are played with the top notes. The sonority is bright. Spice Train by Thomas Dolby Gary Ryan said that this piece influenced him in writing Spice Trail when he heard Thomas Dolby play it live in London. Thomas Dolby was a musician who was known as part of the new wave music genre. On the next slide, you can listen to the first minute of this piece to get a feel for it. <laughs> electronic instruments. New Wave music focused heavily on the synthesizer, which can be heard clearly in the Thomas Dolby piece, and less traditional instruments were used. 
The synthesizer created a unique sound. This went on to create a subgenre of music known as synthesizer pop. At the time, new wave music was an alternative to punk music, which was seen as very harsh and difficult to listen to, and mainstream rock music, which was not seen as very excited and a bit bland. New Wave has a pop sound and catchy hooks that can be danced to. Other instruments of this genre include electric guitar, bass guitar, electronic drums and vocals. Here are some other features of New Wave music. It was influenced by disco and punk music. Usually a heterogeneous texture. This consists of two or more parts which elaborate on the same melody. This is used rather than a homophonic texture, where there is one main instrument with other instruments playing the harmonies. Reliance on arpeggiators play as a chord with a series of ascending and descending notes and pre-recorded sequences. The timbre sounds clean and bright. There were many new wave artists during this period, including Blondie, Duran Duran, Talking Heads, The Police, Human League and Thomas Dolby. Thomas Dolby has a picture on the right and Blondie has a picture on the left. Thank you for listening to my presentation with thanks to Gary Ryan and Mrs Newton for helping me with this project.